Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to put face cam in video and by the way, I'm talking about on mobile. So you can have just a gaming video or a gaming video with face cam or even a gaming video with face cam with no background. Oh, and by the way, make sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm going to show you three extra tips that'll bring your face cam to the next level. The comment of the day and shout out goes to XX Thunder Gamer XX, and he says, "That's funny, bro. Cool video. Thank you very much, XX Thunder Gamer XX." The first thing you want to do is adjust the volume to zero. Don't mute it in game. Just adjust the volume to zero on your device. And you could you could use a headset, but just always make sure the volume is zero. The next step you want to do is you want to screen record. It works for Android as well, but I don't have an Android, so we're going to use an iPhone. Now your screen is recording for your iPhone or any device, and even uh, your face cam is recording on your phone. So now all you do is go back to your game and play. And also, if you want your game to be more synchronized with the face cam, just say start when it starts. Start. N now you can turn your face cam the other way so you can see it. When you're done screen recording, then you click the home button and it will turn you to the home menu. And then stop the screen recording and the uh, face cam recording at the same time. There you go. So now you have two footages, but the two footages have to be on one phone. This device has the gaming footage and this device has um, the face cam footage. So what you want to do is uh, put one footage onto this phone so we can edit later. Okay, airdrop. There you go. When you hear that sound, that means it's airdropping. Boom, there it is. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly do an unkind master and you add some cool effects. Now open kind master and then click new project 16 to 9. Then you click media all and we're looking for the gaming clip first. Here you go. Now click check. Now uh, since it's flipped, we need to rotate it. So you click rotate. There you go. And now we have to click layer. Then media. And now we're searching for the face cam clip. Let's say this. So we started approximately same tab, so we have to put this in the beginning. Start. Now we're gonna cut the clips at the beginning of the gameplay. Click the face cam clip first, and then click trim. And then trim to the left playhead. There you go. And then for the gaming clip, do the same thing. And then click split at playhead. Now slightly move the face cam clip out of range and click the clip that was caught at the beginning and click delete and there you go then click this the game face cam clip then you can resize it if you want and put it on any corner of the screen and then click chroma key so we can remove the background and you click enable and there you go now the background's gone but you can adjust it also and then if you're comfortable the way you adjusted it click check mark you click the face cam clip Click trim and then trim to the right of playhead. There you go. And then trim for the face cam, I mean the gaming, and split that playhead. And then click the other clip that you just cut and click delete. There you go. In this case, the gameplay is very loud, so you have to adjust the volume so you can actually hear my voice. Click the gameplay clip, then click volume, and then adjust it. I'm adjusting it higher because it was too low before. Now click check mark. I think you can crash into player. Now I adjusted it so you can hear me. Now you can have some cool effects with face cam and I'm gonna show you how to do it. After a couple of seconds of gameplay, for example, you can add effects or click, then trim, then split at playhead and go one or two seconds and then split at playhead. There you go. And click the middle clip. And I can add special effects. Okay, now I'll resize it. So when I play the clip, it's gonna resize in the middle clip. Also, you have voice changers, so you can have some funny voice. I'm gonna show you this entire thing in a second. And you can also animate your face cam. So basically, you can move the face cam around the screen. And also gradually resize it. So you don't have to cut. And now you click the key on the left and add this circle thing. 
Okay. It added a keyframe. Now you move it for two or three seconds, for example. And adjust this the way you like. Yeah, you move it again through the timeline. Okay, now I'm going to show you this gameplay right now. Tokens in this game. Okay, I'm racing. I think I'm in the back. I hope I win. Okay, I'm going to pass face right now. I think you can crash into players, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going 106 miles per hour, which is good. Okay. Oh, I'm going faster. And I just crashed into that. And when you're done editing and all that, you have to export it. So on the top right, you click export. And if you can, your resolution should be 1080p, frame rate 60 frames a second, and the slider should be highest quality. Sure, it's going to take longer, but you want the best quality for your video. And that's going to pretty much save it to your phone. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And you, if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every Sunday. Bye, guys!